Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, 25 November, Thanksgiving week. Notoriously a slow week during a slow year. Um, not sure I can get any slower. So I will slowly uh, explain to you what we're thinking about today and, and uh, this week and how we're going to play it. First thing on my mind is Sterling. Um, traded pretty negative on Friday. Technically, you know, you have this double top, this neckline here at 127.70. Looks like it's probably going to be in play. And you have basically two mules now running uh, to run that country, Corbin, uh, the old mule. And Johnson, the crazy mule, um, doesn't look that great. And we think that there'll be a continued weakness in economic indicators heading into the election. And then even when Johnson uh, eventually wins, which looks very likely, uh, there's going to be some questions about Brexit negotiations and, and question marks about whether a deal can get done. I think people are kind of fed up with his tactics and his antics and he's going to be going into this very critical negotiation um, on the back foot so no matter what happens in the UK things are looking uh, relatively bleak we had price confirm our view on Friday so whether you're short cable or short sterling yen which we talked about on Friday uh, we're suggesting to continue here, Sterling Yen, uh, continue on the short side. Obviously, Sterling Yen looks like it's about to make a decision after basically a month, about six weeks of sideways action here. Things really get serious below uh, 139, the figure. We did get down to 30. Um, on yeah, 139.30, 139.29 on Friday. The Bloomberg News has given it a little bit of a fill up on the top side. Dollar yen's a little bit higher. Um, we're slightly risk on here, but today we like short cable. Uh, we're core short sterling yen still. Uh, traded that a few times. We will be adding through 30, 139.30 uh, in sterling yen. So this is a theme for today and probably a theme going out throughout the week. Let's look at dollar yen here. Uh, obviously, Mayor Bloomberg uh, or the owner of Bloomberg or whatever you want to call him, uh, ex-mayor, I guess, of New York, is running for president. This gives the Democrats a very solid uh, player on the economic side. Whether he can win or not, I'm not sure. Well, I'm pretty sure he can, and certainly he is the type of guy that I would like to be president of the United States, so he's he's now officially uh, my pick. We'll see what the rest of the country says. Um, but what this does do is if there is an anti-Trump revolt this gives I would say fiscal conservatives and this gives people who care about the economy a good choice on the de democratic side uh, and that was very much lacking um, as much as you know Warren talks a, a good game about economic equality and she's made some very very good points and I love how Yang talks about uh, you know, giving a guaranteed income. These elements are important, but they need to be, uh, you need to tread very, very carefully when talking about this in America. Uh, and the risks, financial risks involved with applying these policies quickly uh, far outweigh the positives um, of actually putting these policies in place. So anyway, without getting into a big political discourse, um, Bloomberg 
makes this election uh, in this next sort of 10 month period uh, a lot saner uh, I think before Bloomberg entered it was kind of two versions of insanity you have Trump insanity um, sort of that sort of lying psychopath insanity versus fiscal blow up insanity so you you may were thinking about voting about someone who was more normal um, personality wise but had fiscal policies that would damage uh, the United States Bloomberg gives us an option to avoid that so this is good um, sort of risk on for now but it's early days uh, and he is no youngster so you got to keep an eye on a number of things uh, including his health uh, but anyway so this has brought us uh, onto slightly risk on we certainly are not buying into this risk on um, there's some phase one chatter that this is almost done but you know no matter what China says about intellectual property they need to have a system where they can prosecute it they've never prosecuted it even if the uh, penalties are greater it doesn't matter if the penalties are greater if no one's being prosecuted for doing it so I don't know seems bullshit to me uh, we're super skeptical we will be looking uh, as we have been recently um, just to sell high ones right so we want to sell stretch highs we don't want to momentum trade this to the downside that does not work in a bull market um, so if you need to be short you want to sell stretch high ones so I don't know today we will sell high ones around 34 let's call it between 34 and 44 uh, we're sellers of S&P's today as far as uh, news we've got uh, IFO today out of Germany which hasn't moved things in a while euro came all the way back down traded to 15 our long and strong euro dollar trade is is has been nullified now by this price action here uh, we are now neutral euros don't know what's gonna happen here uh, we do know there will be risk below 109.90 uh, we also know that sterling is helping to drag this lower and Bloomberg is going to help is going to create some dollar buying uh, but in general we're just neutral um, neutral euro dollar Swiss we're expecting sellers at parity here especially going into year end if you just look at Wikipedia and look at the top 50 companies in Switzerland you'll see that there are some monsters out there companies like Roche, Novartis, ABB all of these huge international companies do have to um, hedge their dollar revenue into Swiss francs or at least a portion of it this usually creates some selling at this time of year so we are expecting sellers at parity in dollar Swiss somewhere between here and sort of 10030 uh, we think it's a good safe bet to get short dollar Swiss same thing with euro Swiss uh, we are you know these same monsters uh, who sell a lot of product to Europe um, also have to hedge their euros so we are expecting I would say up until December 15th a good amount of uh, resistance just flow resistance against the Swiss franc um, between here and say uh, 11030 uh, in Euro Swiss so we're keeping an eye on that nothing really to sink your teeth into it's no five star crazy setup but uh, it, it will prevent us from getting long dollar Swiss it will prevent us from uh, getting long Euro Swiss even if price is producing some sort of upside momentum uh, we will just ignore that for now and wait for this hedging period to be over and if anything you can just sell high ones um, similar to the S&P deal you want to sell stretch highs in Euro Swiss and Dollar Swiss elsewhere we don't really have a lot to say uh, core short uh, boons still we're in this sort of sideways action um, 
you had a chance to take your tactical back the other day. Uh, you need to resell those between sort of, well, you need to resell them, I think, right around here. We don't think this is going to make any big inroads above 172. So we're just playing on the short side. We have core short, and we're trying to add to the average by trading a portion of it on the short side. Uh, Boons has not changed. Let's talk about Bitcoin for a second. Uh, we love Bitcoin, and we will be buying this uh, sort of between 6400 and 5400 um, I haven't been following the news specifically. I guess China is getting a little bit uh, more stringent about the use of Bitcoin. Um, but we do like Bitcoin. We've always been on the Bitcoin bandwagon. Uh, we first bought it at 700 bucks. Uh, we we thought about buying it at 30 bucks, but we we were a little bit late there. Um, then we sold our stuff out at, at 5,000, and now we're going to re get long heading into this. What we think is going to be support at 5,000. So this is not euro dollar. This is like a stock. It's like a tech stock. It trades like a tech stock. So size accordingly. Don't leverage up on Bitcoin. This is an asset. This is not an. This is not a currency. Do not trade this like a currency. You will blow your sorry ass up. Uh, the vol in Bitcoin is real. Um, as you can see today, five percent. When's the last time you saw a five percent move in in any currency? This is a tech stock. Treat it like you're trading uh, Tesla. This, this is more like Tesla than it is any currency that I know. So, But I just wanted to mention it because we're, we're finally getting back into this, uh, I think, buy zone. Anywhere near 5,000, we're going to be uh, getting long Bitcoin again. That's all I got for you guys today. Uh, main focus is uh, short sterling. Um, we will be looking to fade S&Ps on high ones, and, and we'll be keeping an eye on, on all of the Swiss franc crosses because of um, what we think is going to be a good uh, little wave of hedging going on in the next uh, 15 days or so. Keep in mind, if you like our shit here, uh, subscribe, hit our thumbs up button, all of this uh, malarkey. Um, if we don't get to a critical mass on followers soon, I think we're going to take this private. Um, for me, it changes nothing. This is, as you guys all know, sort of my daily morning trade journal. Um, but Ireland is getting pissed at me for uh, not attracting more people. So either tell him to shut up uh, or tell your dog to subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Ciao.